here after the Region 6A championship game. Mustangs come away victorious by 10 over the Columbia Academy Bulldogs here with winning coach Michael Rochester coach. We started off the game a little shorthanded. Miles Burks unable to go tonight with a little bit of a knee issue. We get halfway through the game. Unfortunately, Lane Myhan, he goes down with a with an injury himself. Has to be taken off, and from there on out, we go in at halftime, tied with CA, very talented team from District 11A. Guys stepped up, come away with a huge 10-point victory tonight. Kind of walk us through a little bit of the game and kind of maybe, if you can, tell us what you can with about Lane and Miles. Uh, well, you know, we, we were definitely worried about uh, not having uh, Miles tonight um, because, of you know, he, he's been a four-year starter and he's given us minutes, and uh, so we were definitely concerned about that. Um, and then when Lane went down with 20 seconds left to go in the half, you know they've only been our two leading scorers for the last three years, and so you're out. With, you're out. With, uh, you're no longer got your leading scorer and your second leading scorer, and guys that have started. I don't know how many games, but it's, it's a bunch. And uh, so we go in at halftime, tied up at 33, and um, you know I, I just I told the guys the thing that is our biggest strength, and all we've heard all year long is there's how deep we are and how much depth we had, and. Uh, yeah, and, and so uh, I challenge those guys to prove everybody right, that, that we are really, really deep and we've got a lot of kids that can step up and play huge minutes. And uh, and then I told them, you know, look, it's all you got to do is beat CA for 16 minutes. You don't have to beat them three out of five. You don't have to beat them four out of seven. You don't – You it's a tie game. you just got to beat them for 16 minutes. And uh, the guys came out and, and, and responded well. I thought – I told Ben after the game, I thought that by far that's probably the best – game I've ever seen him play as a point guard. Now he scored points and he's defensively has, has shut down some good players and he's done a lot of really good things but he handled the ball he handled the pressure he was basically our primary secondary and uh, third option handling the ball tonight um, you know and Ryan Weathers and Will McBee as freshmen to come in and hit the shots that they hit you just can't say enough about uh, what those guys did and uh, the, you know early on I know people are probably well, that just shows they ought to play but they had and I think they understand they had some growing up to do they had to learn what we want to do and uh, they played Ryan last night uh, had some huge rebounds and played the best defense that I've ever seen him play and he just carried that over tonight and that's what we've really stressed to him is you got to be more than just a scorer and, and he just man he responded in such a big way and uh, guys like Logan Nunley and Luke Childress because of foul trouble and losing miles and uh, losing lane had to come out and handle the ball and play positions that they don't normally do and uh, and just everybody responded and uh, it's just, uh, you know, from my coaching standpoint, it just looks like these guys just have so much fun playing together and, um, and, and they're just out there carrying each other. And uh, last night I thought Logan Nunley, about the last four minutes of the game, said, look, just hop on my backs and I'm going to carry you and we're going to win. And tonight I felt like everybody just said, we're, we're not losing. And, uh, and, and, man, this is what a great uh, group of guys I, uh, I get to, to, to be around every day. As far as the injury report, Miles, uh, he's just been real sore. Uh, and so we went and got a lot of fluid drew today. And, uh, it was, and, and the doctors told him, you know, to continue doing what he's doing, but thought it would be best if we just rested him. And he said, um, and so we decided that's what we would do. Um, and in Lane, we don't know. I'm on my way to Murray Region right now. We're pretty confident he's got a, a, a concussion. When we asked him where he was at and what he was doing, he thought he was in Larksburg playing soccer. So pretty confident he doesn't know uh, that. But uh, when I, I, as he was coming off the floor, I hugged his neck, told him I loved him, and he responded. And, and so... Uh, so I feel like he'll be okay his status as far as basketball. I don't know, uh, but I'm just glad to see that he, he's going to be okay, I think. Absolutely. That's what we stressed. Uh, not even worried about Tuesday night with Lane. You just wanted to come back and, and be a healthy, normal, growing kid. And, and you know, you got to think the kids, you, you almost have to question how they would come in tonight with such a tough, hard fall, emotionally draining game. You know, kids have been beat up with Miles' knee, Adam's ankle, you know, Logan come in with a black eye. Ben was scratched up from the game last night. And, you know, you had to wonder, how are they going to respond? And just when you don't even know, they come out and play probably one of the most complete games that they've had all season as a team. And it was the next man up. So, I mean, that, that's all you can say about those kids playing together and playing as one, and that's something you've stressed all season. Yeah, and, you know, uh, to – 
the, today, uh, fourth period, we didn't do a walkthrough hardly. We went out on the floor about 10 minutes, shot a few free throws, tried to walk through their 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. And uh, then we went back in the locker room. I talked to them for a few minutes. And, and I told them, I said, look, I know you're tired. I understand that. Uh, you, you played your guts out last night. And uh, I said, but what I'm more concerned about is you're mentally fatigued. I said, a lot of times when you're physically fatigued, you just you got to tell you my legs, you no know legs, you're not tired, uh, uh, whatever it is. I'm, I'm good. I'm going to overcome this. And you got to be mentally uh, stronger. And so I was really, really worried because uh, – uh, we were mentally exhausted from from that game. I don't know if the kids were, but I know me personally. I was just wiped out, and uh, and and so for those kids to come back and and fight through the advers- adversity that they had to tonight, um, and and had to um, and was so just uh, uh, wore out from last night. Um, I think that was just just speaks volumes about these kids. You know, I keep telling everybody, and I think people are finally starting to see. Uh, what a, what, how good these kids really are. Um, I think maybe there were some people thought it was the Lane or Miles or Adam show or something, you know, if, if you didn't have this kid or you didn't have that kid. But I just, like you said, it was just a complete uh, team effort. And, uh, I mean, just you, you just can't say enough good things about what these guys did tonight and last night. Absolutely. Win tonight means everybody can come back to the barn on Tuesday. And with the crowd that we brought up here to Mount Pleasant, there is no telling what the atmosphere is going to be like Tuesday night as we will take on Nashville Christian. Nashville Christian. Nashville Christian Tuesday night at the barn. Um, what can you say about the fans? They've come out and supported the Lady Mustangs in a hard-fought triple overtime game tonight and then stick around and, and cheer on those Mustang fans tonight in the Region 6A championship game. I mean, I, it just it is mind-boggling to see what these uh, – the, 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 our student body, um, just since the district tournament started, has just been amazing. And our community uh, that are coming out and cheering and supporting. And, I mean, it's just uh, – it means so much to me. And I know it means a lot to the guys. And, uh, you know, we're, we're really happy to be able to represent uh, the school that we do with Dr. Littleton and Coach Swan and uh, Coach Sinbeck and, and how much they support us and just the whole – uh, faculty and staff and the student body and then just to be able to support the fine folks of Loretta and you know we just hope we can uh, keep it rolling you know uh, see what happens we're not quite ready for this thing to end yet um, you know we want to get to Murfreesboro but that's not the ultimate goal so hopefully we can uh, continue to improve get better and see what happens. Absolutely. We want to go ahead and let Coach Roach get out of here. We want to thank him for the time. A big, huge congratulations. I'm going to speak for everybody tuning in tonight, either here at Mount Pleasant or at home watching on, well, not watching, listening to MustangsTV.com. And even the Exports Radio Network got to tune back in late. Uh, congratulations to you, your staff, the guys. We want to let you get out. Go check on Lane. Wish him nothing but the best from us. And uh, we'll see you on Tuesday night. Hey, guys, I appreciate it. Let's try to relax and see what happens on Tuesday.